Hi everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Refu channel. In today's video, we are going to make the classic Ghanaian Angwamu, which is oil rice or braised rice or even pillow rice with fried egg, pepper and sardines. So if you want to know how to prepare this, let's get started. So I have got about eight rice cups of jasmine rice or perfume rice and I am going to wash it. I'll be washing it about three times. So actually this is the first wash and I'm going to remove the water and then I'll do the remaining two washes off camera. Here I'm going to pour some vegetable oil. Feel free to use any oil you like. And when the oil is hot, I am going to add some sliced brown onions. And you can also use the red ones if you like, or even shallots. Then I am going to add in some scotch bonnet. This is half a scotch bonnet, a red one, but you don't have to do it. But I like it when it's spicy. Now I'm going to stir it and leave it to fry until the onions become almost brown. That's how we like it okay so it should take you about 9 to 11 minutes and this is how it looks like that's perfect now I am going to add in my washed rice and again this is jasmine rice or perfumed rice you can also use basmati rice if that's what you prefer And then I am going to stir it and if you think there's not enough oil you can always add a little bit more to it and this is it it is time to add in the water I've got here one liter of water for eight cups of rice so these are very small cups. I think one cup is about 140 to 160 grams. So yeah, not the big ones. Next, I am going to stir it and add in my salt. So traditionally, you just add salt to it. But if you want to be creative and add all-purpose seasoning or even Maggi or whatever you want, please go ahead and use it. But usually, just salt is okay. Now stir it and taste it if the salt is enough for you. Then cover it and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes on a medium heat. Hey guys, this is after 15 minutes and I'm going to check on my Awamu and gosh, it already looks amazing and it smells heavenly. I'm just going to give it a stir and then I'm going to cover it and let it cook a little longer. So, I have decided to use aluminium paper or foil but please feel free to use parchment paper or a bag a clean bag if that's what you have but this is how I like it so cover it and then put the lid back on and let it cook Hey guys, I am back. Let's check on this Angwamu and voila, perfect. This is exactly how I like it. It is nicely cooked, not too soft, not too hard. The perfect Angwamu recipe here. I can also see the Kanzo, Kanzo no Asieno. That's my husband's favorite part of Angwamu. So it is really, really easy to prepare this Ghanaian classic. You just need rice, oil, and salt, basically, and it is so delicious. And this is a close-up here. But of course, you need your fried egg to enjoy this delicious rice. So very simple. I am going to crack two eggs 
quite more if you like <laughs> and then i am going to add in some sardines yes yes have you tried that before fried egg with sardine it tastes amazing so not too much i'm just going to add one for two eggs and then i am going to add some hot sauce this is homemade tomato hot sauce and some salt to taste that's it that's all you need for this egg then i'm going to beat it i have already preheated my oil and now i'm going to pour in my egg to fry it it's going to be a very tasty omelette now i am going to turn it over make sure the other side fries well and that's it my egg is almost ready and then since this one was for my partner i'm going to fold it he likes it folded like this yeah <laughs> I don't know why but this is how he likes it and then you put it on top of the rice and no I don't know it is time to serve guys so um I like serving my anguamo in my apotoyua or asanka I don't know I think it makes it you know nice and local so yeah actually this is for my husband I'm just going to eat it on a simple little white plate but he likes it like this you know you can also add some corned beef to it I've got the recipe on my channel please do check it out and remember in the beginning I told you that my husband likes the asiano kanzono this is the part it's the crunchy part he loves it and I don't blame it it's excellent and then I'm going to add my fried egg to it and then I also reserved a little bit of sardine for him then I'm going to add two types of uh, hot pepper so this is the first one with a little bit of tomato it's the one I use for the omelette and then this is a uh, fresh raw tomato sauce with uh, tomatoes onions and that's it and this is it look at this it's so inviting it's amazing it is good you really need to try this recipe if you haven't already a Ghanaian classic we all love it thank you all for watching this recipe I'll see you next time bye